Once upon a time in a vibrant forest, there lived a raven named Derivan. He was known for his dark feathers, but his heart was even darker with unhappiness. One day, as he perched on a sturdy branch of an old oak tree, a solitary tear escaped from his eye and fell like a raindrop onto a passing monk's cheek. The monk, who was meditating peacefully under the tree, felt the cool drop and gently looked up at the weeping raven. With a warm smile, he inquired, What troubles your heart, my feathered friend? Why do you weep? Derivan, with a heavy heart, confessed, Oh, wise one, my life is filled with sorrow. I'm unloved, shooed away, and despised by everyone. No one offers me a morsel of food, and I yearn for a life different from this one. Death seems preferable to this misery. The monk's heart brimmed with compassion. He spoke gently, Dear friend, happiness isn't found in the circumstances we wish for, it's born from within, irrespective of our surroundings. But Derivan couldn't grasp the wisdom of the monk's words and continued to sob. The monk persisted, don't despair, my friend. Tell me, what do you truly desire? I have a mantra that can help you transform into whatever you wish to be. The raven's eyes sparkled with hope, and he pleaded, Oh, blessed one, if you can help me, please transform me into a majestic swan. The monk agreed but made one condition, Before I help you, go find a swan and ask if they're truly content with their life. Return to me with their answer, and we shall proceed. With newfound optimism, Derivan soared away to seek out a swan. He discovered a serene pond where a graceful white swan was gliding through the clear waters. Approaching the swan, Derivan marveled at its beauty, remarking, You are as pure and radiant as the purest of snow. Surely, you must be the happiest bird in the world. The swan, however, replied with a heavy heart, My friend, I am not as content as you believe. While I may be pure white, there's a vast world of colors I've never known. I envy the parrot, who dazzles with a vibrant spectrum of colors. I often wish to be like them. Derivan's quest for answers led him to the parrot, who was indeed a riot of colors. Parrot, he said, you must be the happiest bird in the world with your stunning plumage. But the parrot sadly admitted, my colorful exterior hides the cage that is my heart. I live in constant fear of being locked away. I yearn to be free, just like the peacock. In search of the elusive secret to happiness, Derivan finally reached a zoo where a majestic peacock resided. Crowds gathered daily to admire its extravagant display of feathers. Derivan asked, Oh, peacock, you must be the happiest of them all for your beauty captivates so many. The peacock, however, revealed a different reality. My colorful feathers are a prison. People pluck them for their own purposes, causing me immense pain. I long for freedom more than anything else. Baffled by this revelation, Derivan asked the peacock who, in his opinion, was the happiest bird. The peacock answered, after much contemplation, I have come to realize that you, my friend, the raven, are the only one not trapped in a cage, unburdened by the desires of others. People leave you be, and you can roam freely. With newfound clarity, Derivan soared back to the monk. He had discovered the wisdom in the monk's words and proudly proclaimed, Wise one, I wish to remain as I am. I now understand that happiness lies within us and not in comparisons with others. Instead of looking at what I lack, I shall cherish what I have. Just as Derivan learned to appreciate his own existence, we should remember that happiness is not found by comparing ourselves to others. True contentment comes from appreciating what we possess and finding joy within. There will always be those with more or less than us, but it is the one who finds happiness in their own circumstances who is truly the happiest person in the world. So, 
Dear viewers, let this story be a reminder that we should cherish the uniqueness of our lives and always keep smiling.